So today I'm talking about a U0140 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0140 code? Well, it's a lost communication with body control module. And what does this mean? Well, there could be different computer modules inside of a vehicle. There could be the ECM, which is the engine control module. There could be the TCM, which is the transmission control module. There could be a module for the ABS. And one of these modules is called the body control module. And this basically controls all the electronics inside the body. So this would include things like the power windows, power mirrors, the AC system, the immobilizer, your door locks, things along these lines. And the main onboard computer has seen a problem with this. It's not able to communicate with it. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And the basics of what's going on with the body control module is it's going to have different outputs depending on what the driver is trying to do. And that would be considered an input. For example, say you were to hit the door lock. Well, this would be an input. So it's going to go up along some wires and it's going to go to what's called the CAN bus. And the CAN bus is basically just all the wires connecting all the computer modules together so that they all can communicate. It's kind of like inside of a home where you have Ethernet on the back of a computer and different things like this. You could think of the CAN bus like that. But basically the input's going to come in is going to go over to the body control module and the body control module is going to see this and so it's going to send out an output to lock or unlock that door and this is going to be the same with all the components that the body control module controls so when you get this u0140 code it can't be inside the wiring going to the body control module or in the harness right where it plugs in or it could have damaged circuitry on the board that's causing the issue and so what would be some possible causes well the first thing is be sure that the battery is good and that there's no alternator charge issues or anything like that basically just keep in mind that all these computer modules need to have a good stable power supply or else they can cause problems with them so so basically keep that in mind the next thing to go and check for is going to be a blown fuse it's going to vary it's going to depend on the vehicle where the fuse is located quite often they're up underneath the dashboard but it can also be inside the engine compartment it can't be a good idea just to check anything labeled like ECU or ECM or basically anything related to the computer modules inside the vehicle but it can't be a blown fuse Another thing that can cause issues is a bad ground wire. All those computer modules need to have a good ground or else it can throw things off and cause issues. If you have like a little jumper wire with alligator clips, quite often you could just temporarily jumper it to ground and see if the issue clears. But the next thing to look for would be a bad ground wire. There can also be some damage to the wires or the harness itself. The wires going around everything. There could be some damage going on to them. Sometimes things happen like rodents get up in there and chew the wires or just something happened to them. And sometimes you can actually see physical damage to them. But the next thing that's going to cause this problem is going to be the wiring harness or just a bad connection going to all the different components. So you can get like a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle and you can go around and check them all and be sure that they're all good. There's no open shorts, anything like this. You can also reseat those connections because sometimes they could have bad connections and so different things like this. But the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be there's some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this problem is that that body control module is just damaged. There's just some kind of issue going on with it. And quite often when this happens, there can actually be burn marks on them or one of these capacitors blew up or something like that. And you can actually see the damage or you could smell it. So if you locate that body control module and you think that it's bad, then try to check to see if you smell a burnt smell. And while these can't fail and they don't burn up and you can't see anything physically, sometimes they do. And if you can't smell a burnt smell, then that body control module probably has failed. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0140 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.